Let me, on behalf of the organizing committee, warmly welcome you all, members of the press, to this media briefing organized to formally kickstart and inform the general public of the forthcoming Nigerian Air Force 60th anniversary celebration. It is scheduled to hold from 23rd to 25th May 2024 in Abuja and Kaduna, with some preceding activities holding across all Nigerian Air Force units in the country. Before I proceed, let me thank the Almighty God for the gift of life and for making it possible for us to witness this milestone in the history of the Nigerian Air Force, which is the Diamond Jubilee anniversary. I would like to acknowledge the cordial relationship between the Nigerian Air Force and the media over these years. I wish to state that the recent successes recorded by the Nigerian Air Force under the leadership of Air Marshal Hassan Abubakar, distinguished flying star, in the past 10 months would not have been made possible without the cooperation and constant support of the media. I therefore wish to commend your sense of patriotism and cooperation in building a strong and viral nation as well as promoting peace and unity in our dear country. This year, the Nigerian Air Force will be celebrating its 60 years of existence. The Diamond Jubilee anniversary is not only a time for celebration, but also a moment for deep reflection on our accomplishments, challenges, and charting the way forward. Throughout our rich history, the Nigerian Air Force has overcome numerous obstacles, adapted to evolving threats, and subsequently emerged stronger and more resilient. There is no doubt that the service has grown over the years into a formidable and respected force within the African continent and beyond. The Nigerian Air Force has continued to fulfill its mandate of securing the territorial integrity of our dear nation through effective application of air power. It is pertinent to note that the Nigerian Air Force has made appreciable progress and significant contributions in the areas of internal security, humanitarian assistance, peacekeeping, as well as restoration and sustenance of democracy in the African continent. The service has also made giant strides in the area of research and development. It is only rational, therefore, to celebrate its existence as well as the laudable achievements of the past six decades. The theme of the celebration is Nigerian Air Force at 60 leveraging strategic partnerships in aerospace innovations for regional security. This is in line with one of the key enablers of the Chief of Air Staff's command philosophy, which is prioritizing research and development, leveraging cutting-edge technology and strategic partnerships. This year's team is aimed at building on the partnerships to address contemporary security challenges, not only in the country, but across the African region. To mark this year's celebration, a series of activities have been lined up to enlighten the citizens of the contributions of the Nigerian Air Force in enhancing the security of our dear nation. Some activities will occur simultaneously in Nigerian Air Force units across the country. These include medical outreaches to various host communities tomorrow, Wednesday, 15th May, followed by Jumat prayers on Friday, 17th May, in all Nigerian Air Force units. On Saturday, 18th May, there will be an outreach by the Nigerian Air Force Officers' Wives Association in Abuja. And due to the emphasis on research and development in the Nigerian Air Force, there will be an inter-command research and development competition on the same day, Saturday, 18th May, here in Abuja. You have the opportunity to witness innovative solutions and projects undertaken and supported by the Nigerian Air Force leadership led by Air Marshal Hassan Abubakar. There will also be a golf kitty on Saturday, 18th May, at Nigerian Air Force Base, B. Clinton Drive, Abuja. There will be an interdenominational church service on 19th May in all Nigerian Air Force bases. On May 20th, 
there will be the unveiling of the newly licensed Nigerian Air Force Microfinance Bank and the commissioning of several projects completed by the current leadership of the Nigerian Air Force in Abuja. The third African Air Forces Forum conference and exhibition will take place from 23rd to 24th May at the International Conference Center Abuja. Here we're expecting over 2,000 participants with over 30 Air Force chiefs, Air Forces, and 10 chiefs of air staff already confirming their participation. Also, we expect over 40 exhibitors, including major defense and aerospace players, such as Airbus, Embraer, Diamond Aircraft, Havosan, Jet Aviation, and of course, our own DICOM. There will also be an inter-command Nigerian Air Force Combat Sports Competition on 24th May at the newly completed and soon to be commissioned Nigerian Air Force Sports Complex Asokoro Abuja. The complex being one of the projects to be commissioned on 20th May. The high point of the Nigerian Air Force 60th anniversary celebration will be on Saturday, 25th May 2024, when we will feature a ceremonial parade, aerial display, and flying out of retired senior officers of 37 and 38 regular courses. The President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, is expected to be the special guest of honor at the occasion. Distinguished members of the press, it will interest you to note that the leadership of the Nigerian Air Force, having adequately considered the prevailing economic situation in the country, decided to adopt a cost-saving and novel approach in organizing this year's celebration. So for the first time, the Nigerian Air Force is adopting a public-private partnership model to organize and fund this event. A company, the Great Minds Event Management, based in Dubai, is bringing in foreign exhibitors and participants for this conference and exhibition, as well as sponsoring some of the events to various degrees. Local exhibitors will also be participating. Furthermore, we have secured sponsorships from some state governments and organizations, which include Enugu State Government, Taraba State Government, Bauchi State Government, Kaduna State Government, and River State Government. We also have the Ministry of Federal Capital Territory and some private companies and organizations, such as Transcorp Hilton and uh, Airpeace, have all joined as our uh, sponsors. There are also some companies, including Katik, Alit, and CETC, all Chinese-based companies, also sponsoring this event. The event will be a good platform to also showcase the capabilities of our local defense companies. DICON will be leading the Nigerian military industrial complex, made up of several local defense equipment manufacturers, of particular note, EPAL, which is a local manufacturer of ballistic vests, helmets, and uh, armored vehicles. They have all registered and indicated interest to participate. At this point, I must once again commend the excellent relationship between the media and the Nigerian Air Force, which has made it possible for the public to be kept well informed of our activities. We consider you our partners in progress and rely on your goodwill. On this note, I wish to thank you most sincerely and also to profoundly express the warm gratitude of the Chief of the Air Staff, Air Marshal Hassan Balabaka, Distinguished Flying Star, for your usual support towards projecting a favorable image of the Nigerian Air Force. Let me also appreciate your kind gesture for honoring our invitation to cover this press briefing. The Nigerian Air Force is relying on you, the media, for timely and accurate reportage of every event marking the 60th anniversary celebrations of the Nigerian Air Force. We also want to use this opportunity to inform the general public, especially the good people of Abuja and Kaduna State, not to panic as a result of the influx of Nigerian Air Force assets, especially the aircraft and personnel that will be taking part in these events. I have no doubt that you will actively participate in these activities 
and give this historic Diamond Jubilee anniversary. To be honest, this 60th anniversary couldn't have come at a better time for Nigerian Force. Uh, because uh, in the next one or two years, the Nigerian Air Force will be the third largest Air Force in Africa. And the reason is simple. We're expecting 12 AH-1 Zoom helicopters, fighter helicopters from the US, 24 M346 from Italy. In fact, six will be coming on stream this year. We're arriving this year. And we're getting the trackers, I think 12 again. So we're talking about 48 coming to the country, of course, adding up to the other aircrafts we're expecting from Turkey and the ones that will receive the Super Tucanos and all of that. So if you talk of strength and numbers, a lot is going to change. And of course, once you have this kind of strength, you're talking about spread. So if you spread this aircraft all over this country, definitely the effect, the impact is going to be felt all around the country. So moving forward from now on, you are going to see changes. You are going to see a much more formidable Nigerian Air Force that can move at ease, that can take its time to cover all aspects of our country, all of those ungovernable spaces that these criminals have continued to take advantage of. We are going to see improvement. You are seeing an Air Force too that is modernizing. With this aircraft, definitely we have to change the ways we do things. An Air Force that is safety conscious, an Air Force that is dedicated to providing peace for our people, to reign, to thrive. And whether we like it, these efforts translate into our economy itself. If we're able to cover the activities of criminals in the Niger Delta area, for instance, the terrorists all over the country that are denying our people access to their farms, whether we like it or not, it's going to translate to meaningful benefits for our people. So, we must be optimistic about the future. And we must continue to trust our services, the Air Force, the Navy, the Air Force, I mean the, the, the Army, all security agencies, to ensure that we get the support that will continue to protect our people and keep them safe. So, moving forward, six years from now, I assure you, we are going to be a better country, we are going to be a safe